The PATH Summer Academy is a partnership between UCSD and the San Diego Community College District, City College, Mesa, and Miramar, supported by the Andrew Mellon Foundation, and it enrolls 24 students um, drawn from literature, philosophy, and history, a few doing art, history, and music as well. And the idea is to smooth and expand the transfer pathway from the Community College District to UCSD to ensure that students on those campuses know that UCSD is an active um, place for research, collaboration, and humanities, and that this is a great place to study philosophy, literature, history, music, art, theater, dance, uh, and that this really should be seen as an intellectual and creative home for our students from the local San Diego area. Right? Summer program, the students take two courses. Uh, we vary what those course offerings are. They receive a stipend to come. There's peer mentorship, and we try to organize meetings with different departments in the humanities just to give the students a little feel for what the study of the humanities is like here. Uh, we do some outings, and we do quite a bit of career services, counseling, so people have a broader understanding of all of the different lines of work that the humanities lead to. Uh, but beyond that kind of um, instrumental set of goals. Really what we're trying to do is make sure that students from the San Diego Community College District come to understand UCSD as a center for inquiry in the humanities and as a place really where all kinds of different humanistic pursuits are possible and supported. Um, I wanted to be part of the summer program. Uh, initially at City College, my teacher uh, talked so much about it. It got me excited because they were talking about integrating arts and humanities with current events and research. And when I hear research, I get really excited because that I think of collaboration, I think of great people working together towards a certain goal. And I've just always thought of UC San Diego as a STEM school. And it's not. <laughs> All of the um, information that we've been given has been extremely useful in how to find a job, how to strengthen my interviewing at the Career Center, um, also to find out my strengths, and uh, also we've been given more information about why school abroad is really important, um, just as employers they look for you to be more uh, globally linked, um, and also they've introduced us to uh, grants, uh, scholarships, so we feel more <laughs> that we can go get our PhDs or our masters, that, that financially we should always um, try those. And our mentors have uh, been really helpful because they've gone to school here before, so they know, you know, they'll, they'll tell you where to go and uh, who to talk to um, as far as your academic future goes and also as far as your college life here. You know. Um, I think the difference between PATH and students who don't have this opportunity is um, you're, you're always learning and you're always acting as a student. But um, with this program, students are really interacting. And I think that's the real advantage of this program. You're interacting with your professors in a way that you normally don't get to. You're interacting with your peers in a way that you don't normally get to. And you're interacting with your environment, um, with the city, with taking these trips, these sort of extraordinary opportunities um, that don't often occur in a university setting. So I think that all of that means that you're much more engaged hooked in um, making these connections that will carry you through the rest of your years, not just at UCSD, but through your um, years in higher education. Some of the field trips we went on were um, we visited a community garden in San Ysidro, which is part of Teddy Cruz and Fauna Foreman's program. Um, the cross-border initiative and then we also took a tour of downtown San Diego um, and saw some of the historic preservation that's going on there. And I think all of these trips gave students a little bit more of a flavor of the diversity that exists here. Um, the city is really a text and I want city, uh, students to start to feel like they can actually go out and explore and connect the ideas that they're getting in the classroom um, with what is actually going on around them and it makes the learning much more meaningful. And I think if you talk to the students, one of the things you'll find that they felt was a bonus and a benefit was the extent to which they got to work across the different humanities disciplines, right? So history students interacting with literature people, literature people and working with art history people, um, and everything kind of coming together so that while students have a little bit of time to develop their own appreciation of their disciplines, how we study philosophy here, what kinds of literature offerings we have, 
they also have a little bit of more maybe of a sense of how the humanities work together. And some of the other elements of the program that feed into that, like the digital humanities or some of the work with the graduate students, the faculty interactions, all of it is meant to kind of give a more rounded and comprehensive approach to the humanities. So we're still refining, we're working, we're going forward, but that's our hope for um, our continuing success. Thank you.